Do you find it frustrating to create a blog post and then having to take that blog post and share it on LinkedIn, Facebook groups, and also Twitter manually? Now, this is the process that I've had to do for a very, very long time, and it's so frustrating. And the truth is, I don't do it anymore. You know, I just create my YouTube channel, create a blog post, and that's it, because that process is so tedious and so frustrating. But today, I have fantastic news because there's a plugin that makes this whole process very, very easy. In fact, you can automate this whole process. Just by one click, you can share all your blog posts to several social media platforms. And as small business owners and cre or content creators, this is ideal because we want our content to be seen by as many people as possible. Let's take a look at BitSocial and find out if this tool is really, really good for us. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to head over to BitSocial. Now, I already have a license. And by the way, before I get started, there's also here an early bird limited offer. So go ahead and check it out on bitapps.pro. So anyway, I have my subscription here. So what you need to do is to download and install it. And let's see how easy that is. So over here, I'm gonna go in and download both plugins. There's a free version and also a paid version. And this is also my license key. So I'm gonna copy my license key ahead of time. So here I'm gonna to click to download and then click to download the pro version. Now over here on my website, I already have a blog post that I've just created and we are going to be using this as an example. So now I'm gonna to go to my dashboard, head over to plugins because we need to install a brand new plugin. So I'm gonna click on add new plugin. So as you know, we've downloaded them. So let's go ahead and upload the first one, which is the free version. Double click on that and install. Next, we need to activate. So as soon as you install this, you're going to notice that you have an entry here, which is very good because there's no looking around to find out how to go in and customize this. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the settings because that's what I normally go to to see how we can customize this. So here we have up, uh, up and coming uh, integrations. We have Instagram, Telegram, and um, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna close here. The next thing we wanna take a look at here is the auto post, and this is what we are really interested in. So as you can see here, we have these platforms here, and if you want to connect them, it is very straightforward. You can just click here on connect an account. Now, straight away, you're going to notice that with the free version, it's limiting you from Google Business, Pinterest, Discord, Tumblr and Twitter. So you only have LinkedIn and Facebook. And this is why we just need to go in straight away and install the pro version because it has all the features. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna come over here back to our plugins, click on add new plugin. And this time we're going to upload the pro version. So choose file and I'm gonna double click on this one here and install now. Now, since this is a pro version, of course we know we need to enter our license key. So to do that, we're gonna come over here to BitSocial Pro, and now you notice that it has been updated to Pro. So I'm gonna to go to my setting. In fact, I'm gonna to go to my license here, and I'm going to connect with a BitApp subscription. I'm gonna close out of here. In fact, my license key now it has been activated successfully, which is fantastic. So no need to copy and paste it. Okay, so let's take a look and see the interface of BitSocial Pro. So first of all, we have our accounts here. Now this page here is very important because this is where you need to connect your accounts. So let's take a look and see what the interface looks like. So if I click here on connect account, we notice that we have LinkedIn, Facebook, Google uh, Business, Pinterest, Discord, Tumblr, and Twitter. Now what I like about this straight away is there is a document link here and there's also a YouTube tutorial. So it's very easy to go in and set this up. Now what I wanna do here is to connect LinkedIn. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect. Now the idea here is to see how easy it is to uh, connect this. So I'm gonna come over here to my email address. I'm gonna sign in. Okay, so here's my profile. I'm gonna go ahead and save it and then close out of here. So just like that, I've connected my LinkedIn. Now let's try this one more time with uh, say Facebook. So again, I'm gonna come over here, connect account, and this time it's gonna be Facebook. I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect. So now I'm gonna reconnect because I tried to connect earlier on. So I'm gonna save this to this Facebook page because I'm gonna use this as my demo. All right, so let's go ahead and save. Now I can go to WP Auto Post. So here is where you can now select 
which channels you want to auto post to. The really cool thing here is I can select all and it pretty much it selects everything. But what's important here is there's also a document here you can go ahead and check out. So here is where you need to add your settings and I like the way this is structured. It says share post automatically. So if I activate this, whatever post I create on my site is going to be done automatically, which is fantastic. Now, if you wanna read more, you can also, of course read more here. Now it's asking here, what sort of posts do you need to share? Now, by default, it has post share, which is our blog post, which is also okay. And then here it says share post delay. So you can either share immediately or wait five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, three hours, and so on. And then over here we have enable auto post log. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. Okay, if you don't want to do auto posting, you can also come over here and schedule everything. And I like this because we are now given opportunities to really set up everything how we want it. So if I need to schedule anything, I can just come over here. I can give this a name. So here we have the start time and we can do this uh, per interval and so on. Now I'm gonna go uh, and bother with that. You can also come over here to uh, post filter and choose uh, your, your times, last seven days and so on. So this will go back in time and start posting things as you've set it here. Now we also have an account template here. So I haven't created my templates yet and this is the next part I need to go and do. So I'm gonna close out of here and I really like the, that we can schedule our posts which is fantastic. Now over here we have our share now. So let's say you want to share your post. You can just pretty much go in and share this right away. So we have all our accounts here. I can now go in and share this right now. Now you notice that we have LinkedIn and Facebook. So if I wanted to disable Facebook, I can disable it like that. So you can add in your title there. You can add in your post information and then publish now. And this is share now. We also have a calendar here. So if you want to schedule everything on the calendar, you can go in and add your schedules just like that. So you can come over here, you can choose your date. So let's say this is for the 11th, I'm going to say OK. And then over here, I'm going to say start from the latest to old posts. Now, this is pretty cool. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this is imagine this. Let's say you have a blog which has more than 100 posts, but you want to repost them onto social media. This is the perfect tool because imagine trying to do it one by one. I mean, you'll lose steam, <laughs> that won't even work. So this is the best thing to do this. Okay, so I like the calendar. Now we also have templates. Now this is very, very important because you need to structure how you want things to look like before you can actually start posting. So let's spend a bit of time here and work on these templates. So this template here is for LinkedIn. So you can see here, I have my post title. So what I may want to do here is to come over to smart tags. So let's say I want to add, in fact, we have our post title. Let's add our author. So I'm going to say written by, and then add a column. So this is going to add my post author. Next, I also want to add a bit of content in here. So let's look at the excerpts. So we have our post except here. Now you may also want to add something else here. So perhaps maybe you have something that's on sale. You can add your product and sell price over here. Now, of course we don't have that, but you can see we have a long list of items that we can add here to our template. Now I'm also going to use this on my next template. So I'm gonna copy that. Now over here, it says trim message. I'm gonna leave that as it is. Now this, I know it's coming soon, but it would be nice to have a look at our template here, just to have an idea of what it looks like so we can go in and start making all our updates. So this is pretty cool that we have this. Next, I wanna to go to Facebook and I'm gonna do the same thing as well. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna paste the basic information that I need. So we have our post title written by, and we have our post accepts. Okay, so remember on our auto post here, we've uh, set this to share post delay to immediately. So if we create a blog post now, it's going to be shared immediately. This now is the moment of truth because we're going to see if this is actually going to work. So I'm gonna come over here now to my posts and click on all posts. Now let's add a brand new one. We are going to use our normal editor. All right, so we also need a featured image. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use this as my featured image. Now, if there's anything else we need to add here, perhaps maybe a hyperlink, we can just go in and add 
our hyperlink. So maybe this needs to go to the services. Click on view, and this is what it looks like. It's a basic blog post. Now I'm gonna go to LinkedIn. So right away, I can see it has been added here. So here is the title written by, so that's my post right here. It has been posted. Now, for some reason, uh, it's not showing the excepts. That may be something I need to go in and sort out. Anyway, now back over here on our templates, here is something that I didn't do. So I was meant to come over here on the posting type and click on featured image, product image, all images, link card, and so on. So let's say if I added my featured image here, then this featured image would have shown on my post. So again, this is something that you may need to go in and make sure you've set up beforehand. But I like the fact that we have the option to set up our template the way we want. So again, over here, we also have our smart tags. We can add our post link. And this is also very important because of course, you want that when someone comes over here to your feed, they should be able to click a link here and go to the actual blog post. Okay, great. So now I'm going to come back over here to my LinkedIn and refresh. You can see now this looks brilliant. It has my image here. It also has the link. So if I click on this link here, it's going to take me now to my blog post, which is really, really awesome. So the thing I like about BitSocial is it has a dashboard which shows you what's been happening. So if I come over here now to home, you're going to notice that we have active accounts. It's telling me I have two. It also has uh, published posts and active schedules if I do have any. Now over here, we also have this little tag here which says more. So this can now take me to my settings, change log, support, and so on. Now over here, we also have dark mode. So if you're one of those people that like to work in dark mode, well, that option is there and it is really, really cool. All right, so I prefer working in light mode, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this. So here's the thing. When I come over here to uh, my accounts, you're going to notice that we have these two. What I would like to see here is to uh, perhaps maybe get rid of Tumblr because I'm not sure if it's still being used. Perhaps you can correct me on that one. But uh, I can see here that we're missing Instagram. So it would be nice to have Instagram here as well and maybe other, other platforms if they are needed because of course people may use or prefer to use different platforms. But overall, I like the concept. I like the idea. And this in itself is great because... It's just taken me so much pressure off my shoulders because as you can imagine, after you've created your blog post, to go to each and every social media platform and post that blog post is just a pain. So this really takes away all that pain. You can schedule them, you can create a template, and you can do all these sorts of things and make it work behind the scenes as you're working on your content. And what I really like about this as well is the fact that you can go back to all the posts that you have on your website and start reposting them on the calendar. Fantastic, fantastic idea. So who is this plugin for? Straight away, I can tell you it's for design agencies. Chances are you're going to be managing social media platforms for your clients. This is how you want to automate things because doing it manually, as I mentioned, is a pain. Small business owners, content creators, this is the plugin for you. So at this point, you're probably thinking, well, how much does this plugin cost? Perhaps it's gonna cost you a lot of money, but I can tell you right now that it is very affordable and it is on a lifetime deal. So if you head over now to uh, bitsocial.pro, you notice that it's only $99, but you can also take a look at all the offers that they have. So before I do that, here there has 29 days for you to get your lifetime deal, and this is very important because once this goes, pretty much that's it. It's not gonna it's not gonna come back. Okay, so let's take a look at the pricing here. So here we have the free version which we talked about. So this is the early bird lifetime deal, and the offer, as I mentioned, is now. So this is going to increase by 50% on the after the 31st of October. So it's very, very important that you get this as quickly as you can. Now imagine this, for $99, you can install this plugin on unlimited websites. So as you can see here, this is fantastic, especially for design agencies. I mean, you can add this as a as an upsell and say we have an option or a feature where we can post 
all our all your content onto different social media platforms and, th and then just use this plugin 99 dollars is a steal guys head over to bitsocial.com and download this plugin again once the offer goes that's it anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments box below until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care